What are the symptoms of mild scoliosis? Scoliosis is an unnatural sideways bending curvature, and typically the scoliosis also rotates into the concavity of the scoliosis. Scoliosis can range wildly in severity from mild to moderate to severe to very severe. And we know mild scoliosis is typically when scoliosis is diagnosed with something called a Cobb angle and the measurements between 10 and 25 degrees. A Cobb angle is a measurement that's attained during a spinal x-ray. And it, this is needed to diagnose the severity of the scoliosis. And it's normally determined by drawing lines from the topmost tilted vertebra to the bottom most tilted vertebra of this unnatural curvature. And these most tilted vertebra are measured in the difference in degrees. And this resulting angle gives us the size of the Cobb angle. The higher the Cobb angle, the more severe the condition. A Cobb angle must be at least 10 degrees for it to be considered scoliosis. Now, when we look at mild scoliosis, we know the symptoms can be subtle and difficult to detect, especially in adolescence. Mild scoliosis isn't normally a comp uh, associated with functional deficits in children. Mild scoliosis can be cause very subtle postural changes, and typically the main scoliosis symptom in children is postural changes. So therefore, these conditions can be very difficult to find and normally involves an asymmetrical body presentation, meaning uneven shoulders, uneven hips, uneven waist, uneven rib cage. Even a mild asymmetry is not considered normal. There is never a normal time for children to have asymmetrical posture, meaning one side looking different than the other. Even if it's mild, it's something that should be considered and taken seriously. In scoliosis in children, we don't expect scoliosis to be painful because most kids are growing and adapting to the scoliosis. And no matter what size the curve becomes, most children do not experience pain because they're growing and elongating and it's not causing any types of compression. And, as, and when they're growing and elongating, the body's very, very adaptive. It's when scoliosis becomes compressive, and this is typically in the adult life, is when it be, can become more painful. So therefore, as a child's developing a mild scoliosis, they can't tell you they're developing a problem because they can't feel it. You can just see it with a posture evaluation. Unfortunately, many, many kids are not evaluated posturally correctly because maybe they go to a pediatrician who doesn't look for scoliosis. Maybe they're not being evaluated, they're not looking at all the subtle signs. And so therefore, the most common age or size of diagnosis is when curves already become moderate to severe. Many mild cases are completely missed. Now, unfortunately, even though scoliosis is not painful in children, scoliosis, mild scoliosis in adults can be painful. There is no relationship between size of curve and pain for adult patients because in scoliosis in the adult form, it becomes compressive and small curves can sometimes lead to severe pain because they're causing compression and it's leading to discomfort in the adult life. So therefore, in a mild scoliosis in an adolescent can be sometimes very, very difficult to diagnose. In the adult form, it's typically pain that's going to bring on the diagnose and normally you're going to be looking at an x-ray and it's not related to the amount of pain. So therefore, patients could hear the word mild and they could think, oh, it's a mild problem. It's not causing my pain. Mild is only the category that orthopedic surgeons put this curvature because they say it's too mild to consider spinal fusion. Mild doesn't mean mild effect in the adult form. It just means mild size relative to surgical intervention. Now, unfortunately, we know scoliosis is a progressive condition. And what this means is that it's in its very nature to worsen over time. Mild scoliosis become moderate, can become severe, or even very severe if untreated or not treated properly, especially during adolescence as a result of growth, because growth is what triggers progression in children. In adults, this is uh, progression occurs over a long period of time, so the progression will be more slow and steady, but in children it can be very rapid, especially dur during prevalent growth spurt. What every, what every severe scoliosis has in common is that it was once mild. So understanding that mild curvatures don't always mean they're gonna stay mild. They can become moderate and severe and lead to more severe conditions, especially rapidly during adolescent stage, it progresses slowly in the adult form. It can lead to more rapid progression in the later stage adult life. What every severe scoliosis has in common is once mild. So therefore, diagnosing a scoliosis early as a mild case and considering treatment at this, at this stage will definitely produce better results in the long term. 
When we look at scoliosis, we know all cases of scoliosis are highly treatable, but especially when they're diagnosed and treated as early as they're diagnosed. And while cases are in their mild form, they're much easier to treat and much simpler to treat because the curves are much smaller. So when one rule of thumb is we say the smaller the curve, the younger the patient typically means the better results in conservative treatment. Now, progression makes the spine increasingly rigid. It makes it less responsive to treatment and it makes it more difficult to reduce. So therefore, Increased spinal rigidity can make it more difficult for patients to perform key therapeutic exercises as a part of their treatment. But the big thing is that it doesn't just respond as well. And we know we don't have an unlimited ability to reduce the scoliosis. So therefore, as we reduce curves when they're small, meaning if we can reduce curves 30%, 30% of a mild curve is way smaller than 30% of a severe curve. So therefore, we always want to treat curves as soon as possible because the outcome will always be more effective. We know scoliosis can affect many different uh, problems, uh, many different areas of the body, and this can be prevented by proactive treatment, meaning you never have the effects occur because you're dealing with curves when they're much smaller, preventing all the progression, pre preventing all the effects that potentially could occur. So what you need to know about mild scoliosis is that without treatment, that it's unlikely to stay mild. It's going to continue to worsen. It can may worsen quickly during growth or slowly in the adult form, but more than likely, it's going to worsen over time. And as it worsens, the effects that it's causing becomes more and severe. And then also what you need to know is that proactive conservative treatment, when started at a mild size, scoliosis can be very highly responsive to the types of conservative treatment to get very good results at reducing curves and preventing the effects that scoliosis can lead to. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about this topic or other scoliosis questions, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish new videos just like this.